time to give up this thing, boy. I love it and I hate it at the same time. Ooh, look at this. Clean life gen. What size are your tires? 255s. Damn. You do you rub? No, I don't. That's crazy. That is clean. Jeez, and mine's 235s. I was thinking about going 255s, but I was like, I might rub. I actually go down to 245s. 245s? In the back, at least. It's a little bit too much camber. Oh, how much camber you got in the rear? I think two. And two? Front, yeah, mine's like 1.3 or something like that. But you can't tell because it's so meaty. It looks good, bro. It's clean. What do you do? You got like an Instagram shout out or something? I mean, my Instagram is DonFB6. That's all I have right now. I just started. Yeah. Clean, bro. Clean. Anything done to the engine? Nah, it's stock just beside the stage three clutch. Stage three? God yeah. damn. That's a leg day. Yeah, what, type yeah. of, what type of clutch is it? Uh, action clutch? ATT? Yeah. Dang, bro. I'm still on stock clutch. My stock clutch is actually slowly giving out for all the damn power shifts I be doing. I got lucky. It came with the car. Oh, wow. That's, that's good. So, what's your future mods for it? I was thinking about supercharged yeah supercharged or stunt to manifold yeah I, i'm thinking about swapping ahead but i don't know yet yeah, i was thinking about it too i know a lot of people are doing it. They actually you can do it for really really cheap you can do it for under two grand and it, it makes decent power like you gonna make throw some matches on it for like a like a 75 or 50 shot you're making like close to four i was thinking about supercharger or head swap i'm not sure yeah most likely i'm gonna do the head and then later on in the future probably go turbo but uh, the head yeah the head is gonna be nasty with it it's gonna be real nasty well thank you for my new my new part for the car yeah <laughs> so yeah guys um what's your name anthony right adonis adonis stupid so everybody this is adonis we traded our our gurney flaps i guess you could call this this is a gurney flap right gurney yeah flap. so we traded our gurney flaps if you guys like watch most of my videos you guys know like I like the Passport JDM, but I'm ready for something new. And I feel like this is something that's definitely gonna set up the car. So shout out to Adonis for trading me it. Um, yeah, man, make sure you guys go follow him on Instagram. I'm gonna put the this thing right here. So yeah, man, let's go back to the house. It's been a couple days since that last clip you guys have just seen. Probably been, not even a couple days. I think it's been like probably two weeks since that last clip. I got the new gurney flap mounted up. Well, I didn't really install it yet, as you guys can see. I just got it on there so you guys can see how it looked. Oh my gosh, you guys. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I don't know why this car is just so hard to keep clean. But what do you guys think? I think it looked fire, bro. I think that thing looked clean. I've been wanting something new for the back of the car for the longest. Actually, 2021, I just want to change up this whole car and make sure everything's different from what it was last year. Oh, also. Happy New Year's to everybody who watched my videos. Happy New, Happy New Year's to everybody who subscribes to the channel. Uh, hope, hopefully, you know, we stay safe during this time. And uh, hopefully 2021 is not like 2020. But yeah, like I was saying, I wanted something new for the rear of the car. And I, you know, went to go get, well, not get, but I went to go trade my old Passport GDM for a new gurney flap. I think it's called Car Use Design. I think so. Car Use? Car saw? I don't know, bro. I'm just trying. I'm just throwing names out, but I think it's car use. When I first seen it, I was like, damn, bro, that thing's hard. And I was like, damn, I want to get it. But it made no sense because I already had the Passport JDM one. So I was like, if I get that, I'm going to have two gurney flaps. But also, I didn't want to sell the Passport JDM because it was so rare at the time because nobody was making them. And uh, I think the company was like, they, uh, they shut down or something for a couple months. I heard it just picking back up now. So that's crazy. But yeah. So, I wanted one so bad, bro, and I finally got this one, and like, for this past two weeks, bro, you won't believe what I've been doing with it. I literally took a shower with it. I played games with it. I played Call of Duty with it. Yeah! Let's go! And I freaking had it in the bathroom when I was taking the number two, bro. Oh. But as you guys can see, man, I'm clean, so you know what time it is. Yes, sir, wait, Chuck, you see him, man. You see me 
spinning ah. <laughs> Alright, so as you guys can see, I still have a lot of residue from the old granny flap that was there. And uh it should be pretty easy to take off. It shouldn't be too hard. Especially when you have glue gone. So yeah, let's get it off. Alright guys, so I got the back of the spoiler clean, so now we'll be able to mount it on with some 3M tape. Hopefully this 3M tape is really strong, because, actually it is, because that's what I used to uh, mount the gurney flap, my old one, so I have no doubt in this. I just want to make sure that I put this on the right spot, because I don't want to be able to see it from the back of the car. And uh, that was a big issue I had when I recoded my uh, Password JDM one, and I put it on the car, I was able to see the 3M tape. But, it didn't, it didn't bother me too much, but still, I just want a clean look from this one. So this is how I have it laid out. Hopefully it sticks well. It seemed like it was sticking pretty de decent when I uh, mounted it up. So uh, just got to fix it out and uh, make sure it's smooth and nice. Smoke, smoke, smoke. I don't know what you guys think, but I think this crap looks amazing. Like, it looks so dang good on the car. I really like the way it looks. I like the way it turned out. I really like that it's really swooped. Like, I don't even know if that makes sense. I really like, like, how it's angled up. Like, I know you see that. Look, just look at this angle, bro. This is just fire. Oh my goodness. If you guys like the way the Gurney 5 looks on Dusty, please leave a like on this video. Doing that will help this video grow to be, you know, something big one day. And uh, this helps the channel a lot. So I really appreciate if you guys could do that. All right, guys. So this is where I'm at off the video. If you guys enjoyed it, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Commenting really helps a lot. You guys don't know that, but it does. It helps a lot. So if you can leave a comment under this video, please do. If you guys are interested in getting one of these granny flats, I'm going to leave the link in the description because I know you guys are going to ask me for it. Even though I didn't really go buy it, I traded my old granny flat for this one. But yeah, I'm going to leave it in the description just in case you guys want to buy it. They are doing pre-orders, so I can't guarantee that you're going to get one. So don't get mad at me if you don't. But yeah, that's my man off the video. Your boy's out. Peace.